Hey guys, what is up? So today I'm going to be ranking the High School Musical, the musical, the series, characters on a tier making list. And I did one of these videos a couple videos ago on the Anne with any character. So if you like that show and you're interested in that video, definitely check that out and let's get started. Okay, so first we have Ashlyn. So Ashlyn, Ashlyn, honestly, yeah, we love cause she wasn't really, yeah, she wasn't really annoying ever. She like had a good heart. She was great. I can't really think of like a moment where I really didn't like her. So I'm gonna put her in love. Next we have, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know who this, is because their head is cut off how am i supposed to know who this is <laughs> okay i'm just gonna put this person at the end we're gonna figure it out that later hold up yeah i'm gonna put them all the way at the end because i literally don't know who they are yeah carlos we're gonna put in love yeah there's nothing really bad about carlos so, nini's mom bro nini's mom is a g and then nini's other mom we're gonna put her there too they were both really nice ej he was really annoying at first but he's like a good guy i feel like he just had to work through some stuff you know what? i'm gonna put ej in really like because he he's actually really funny in the show and he's he's redeemed himself to be honest like i feel like his character development has been really great and he isn't as jealous anymore and yeah he's turning into a good character so i'm gonna put him in really like gina I feel like she's had a lot of character development too because before it was like, I'm gonna compete and be the best, which was so annoying, oh my gosh. But now she's kind of like opening up. I'm gonna put her in really like, because I don't love her yet, but I'll put her in really like. Courtney, bro, Courtney is a G, oh my gosh. We need Courtney storylines, like she, I am sick, like, and I'm not trying to call High School Musical the musical of the series on this, but like, I'm sick of Disney and Nickelodeon and just like any show just doing the, the black character best friend. Like, I'm sick of that trope. It's so, so annoying. Like, give Courtney her own storyline. Like, she is her own person. Please develop her character. Oh man, I'm going on a rant. But yeah, with her character, I feel like the only scenes we really got her in were just with Nini. I mean, she had like a little bit of her own storyline, but it really was just swept to the side. So I hope that in season two, we get a lot more of her. Ryan. And bro, Ryan, like, come on, he's a G. He's an OG, literally. Okay, the next character is Nini's grandmother. She is such a G, we love her, oh my gosh. Ricky's dad. Oh, wait, I actually really love Ricky's dad. He's like, oh my gosh, I don't know, he's like Ricky, and then like, him and Miss Jen are like super cute, I love him. Okay, Miss Jen. No, yeah, I really love her. There's, she's like a little bit crazy, but it, it's a good kind of crazy. Okay, so Natalie, she really was not, I don't know, I know that she was in the trailer. She really wasn't in the show that much, or at least, I don't know, she didn't really get like any storyline of her own. I'm gonna put her, I like her, cause I don't really know that much about her. It'd be interesting to get like her more in the storyline. Nini, I feel like Nini has a little bit to work through. Like she just needs to focus on herself. I don't know, I feel like the way that she handles her problems right now is not at a good place and that's kind of what I don't like about her. But I'm gonna put her in love because besides that, like, every, no one's perfect. So yeah, Nini, like, she's such a nice person. And honestly, just like independent, knows what she wants. And I really admire that about her, that she, you know, does not settle. Like, she is like, if you don't trust me, I'm not gonna be with you, you know? And yeah, I don't know. She's just a very inspirational character and she's not one of those characters that just stays in a toxic relationship. And I feel like I never see that. So I really love her character. This guy was like, one of the principals i didn't like him he's one of the principals right yeah he was just annoying um ricky bro ricky i love i love ricky like oh my gosh i mean he he's not perfect either both nini and ricky are not perfect but like you have to love them like oh my gosh okay so this is ricky's mom she's like bar <laughs> she's barely in the photo <laughs> I don't like her. her. Her communication skills are terrible. She's just so dry and there's something so fake about her. I'm not trying to know. Well, I am trashing her. Um, I don't know. There's just something about her I don't like. I don't know. There's something sketchy and fake and she doesn't really seem like... I don't know. It kind of just seems like she's either lost or she doesn't genuinely care about Ricky. Like, I'm not even trying to be like that. But it's just like, she's definitely putting herself first, which like isn't a bad thing, but I think kind of ignoring how Ricky feels at all and like not even telling him like I think the biggest thing is not even telling him that she was going to bring her boyfriend and like I don't even know if she told him that he, she had a boyfriend no yeah I think I don't know but yeah she just doesn't have great communication skills and there's something weird about her okay Seb oh my gosh well no, oh no okay I was gonna say I love him but the way that he stood up Carlos there's something sketchy about Seb I don't know what it is but there's something I'm not liking so I'm gonna put him in like He's on thin ice with me. Okay, and then this is the casting agent. She, at first I didn't like her cause she just like left, but she had like this important call. I mean, I don't really know her that much. So I'm just gonna put her in like, cause she seems nice, but I mean, I don't really know her that much. Mr. Mazzara, 
Hmm, okay. I mean, he was really, 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 really annoying. And just like, even to that like one scene with Carlos, he was so rude, but he has kind of had some character development. Okay, I'm gonna put him in really like, because I'm rooting for him. I feel like there is such a great guy underneath his like tough exterior. And then even with the dance scene when he was really nice to Carlos, I that was respectable, I liked that. So I'm gonna put him in really like. I feel like he'll have a really good character development throughout the rest of the seasons. And then this person who is cut off, that I literally don't know who it is. Oh, Big Red, okay. His head is cut off, so that's why I didn't know. Okay, Big Red, oh my gosh. How can you not love Big Red? Like, there's literally nothing, like, he is adorable, we love him, oh my gosh. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was so much fun to make, and I love like just reflecting on these characters, because I haven't watched the show in a while because it obviously ended and I saw the whole thing. But yeah, so I am planning to do a couple more of these videos. If you guys have any requests, definitely comment them down below. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. It means so much to me, and put on my post notifications. It just notifies you every time I upload a video. And make sure to give this video a like, because it just makes sense. And also follow my Instagram or Snapchat. It's a super fun time on there and I'll see you guys in my next video.